ton of people have been asking me for a tutorial on the masking effect that I used in my Magic of Christmas video, where the next clip smoothly swipes in replacing the previous one. Well guys, I got you. This is actually quite simple. The first piece of clip that you need to make this work can be just about anything. The second clip will be the part you need to get creative with. To ensure that this comes out buttery smooth, make sure you film it in at least 60 frames per second. If you don't have that option, don't worry, it should still come out fine. I will use this example of when I transitioned in the clock on the wall. When filming this piece, you have to find the part that you are transitioning in and make sure that it is not in the scene yet. In this example, it comes into the shot as I slowly move towards the clock. Also, when you shoot this part, make sure that you film it so that you cover up the entire other side of the scene, so that you can transition out the previous clip. You might have to do this a few times, as it took me about 5 tries to get it to how I want it. Now that you are done filming this, let's hop on to Final Cut Pro 10. Drag your starting clip to the project timeline. I'll be using this one of the snow globe as my first shot. I'm also going to slow it down to give it that dramatic effect. Next, drag the transitioning clip on top of the first one. Look for the draw mask tool under effects and drag it onto the very top clip. Place the points around the outside of your clip. Since I know the object coming into frame is a straight object, I place just the right amount of key points that I need to make it work. If you are transitioning in a more complex object, then you'll need to add in more key points. Now in the inspector tab, click on invert mask, increase the feathering, and add a keyframe to that. Also add a keyframe to transforms and control points. Now using your right arrow key on your keyboard, press it to move to the next frame and adjust your mask to the shape of the object that is coming in. Continue to adjust it until the previous scene is completely out of the picture. If the bottom clip ends before the top one, just readjust the top clip or you can extend the bottom one if possible. I will also slow down the footage once the other clip has fully disappeared to add to the overall look. You can do this by pressing R on your keyboard and selecting the part you want to slow down. Click on the retiming options tool and select automatic speed. To make this clip pop out even more, make sure to color grade it and add some sound design. I'll leave a link to those tutorials down below. Eleven.